Hi and welcome to Mr Edwards GCSE PE revision sessions. These videos give you the option to pause, freeze and rewind the lessons at your own pace. Gaseous exchange. What is gaseous exchange? Once the alveoli in the lungs have filled with air, a process known as gaseous exchange takes place. Oxygen moves from the air in the alveoli into the blood in the capillaries, while carbon dioxide moves from the blood in the capillaries into the air in the alveoli. As you can see here, the blood is filled with carbon dioxide as it's come away from the working muscles. It's come down to the alveoli, diffuses through the capillary and goes back out into the lungs. At the same time, oxygen from the alveoli is diffusing through the capillaries into the blood and taken off to the working muscles. Air first enters the body through the mouth or nose and quickly moves to the pharynx or throat. From there, the air passes through the larynx or voice box and enters the trachea. The trachea is a strong tube that contains rings of cartilage that prevent it from collapsing. Within the lungs, the trachea branches into a left and right bronchus, which further divide into smaller and smaller branches called bronchioles. The smallest bronchioles end in tiny air sacs called alveoli, which inflate during inhalation and deflate during exhalation. Gas exchange is the delivery of oxygen from the lungs to the bloodstream and the elimination of carbon dioxide from the bloodstream to the lungs. It occurs in the lungs between the alveoli and a network of tiny blood vessels called capillaries, which are located in the walls of the alveoli. Here, you see red blood cells traveling through the capillaries. The walls of the alveoli actually share a membrane with the capillaries. That's how close they are. This makes it possible for oxygen and carbon dioxide to diffuse or move freely between the respiratory system and the bloodstream. Oxygen molecules attach to red blood cells, which travel back to the heart. At the same time, the carbon dioxide molecules in the alveoli are blown out of the body with the next exhalation. Gas exchange allows the body to replenish the oxygen and eliminate the carbon dioxide, both of which are necessary for survival. Diffusion. In order to understand gaseous exchange, you need to understand the process of diffusion. Diffusion is the term used to describe how the molecules move from an area of higher concentration to an area of low, lower concentration and attempt to reach a balance. An example of this is the higher concentration of oxygen in the alveoli diffuses through the capillaries into the blood. In turn, the higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood diffuses through the capillaries into the alveoli. Diffusion continued. Gaseous exchange is the diffusion of gases in opposite directions at the same time. Hopefully you can see as, as the carbon dioxide is coming down, it's diffusing through the walls of the capillaries because they are only one cell thick into the alveoli, back out to the lungs. At the same time, the oxygen comes in through the capillaries, diffuses through the capillaries and off to the working muscles. The alveoli are perfectly designed for diffusion, which allows the process of gaseous exchange to be very efficient. Alveoli breakdown. There are around 400 million alveoli in the lungs, providing a massive surface area for diffusion to take place. The capillaries and alveoli are very closely wrapped together so that gases only have to diffuse across a short distance. The blood supply to the alveoli is substantial so that lots of gas can be carried away quickly. The alveoli have moist thin walls which are perfect for gases to diffuse through. Gases exchange during exercise. During exercise, the muscles use more oxygen. As a result, the blood returning from the muscles has a lower than normal concentration of oxygen in it. Because the difference between the concentration of oxygen in the blood and the alveoli is greater, more oxygen diffuses into the blood. At the same time, more carbon dioxide is created in the muscles during exercise. As a result, of a higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood and a greater difference between this and the concentration of carbon dioxide in the alveoli, more carbon dioxide is diffused back into the alveoli. This means that during exercise, a greater level of gaseous exchange takes place during exercise. The exact level of gaseous exchange depends on the intensity of the activity. Thank you for listening to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE revision videos.
If you have any questions, feel free to email me on damianedwards at kingselbarsha.com. Cheers. Bye.